I'll be the best person today. <laughs> um, I think my research journey started since when I was a postgraduate student. Um, I was um, doing my research in uh, PhD in environmental management, and I tried to look at the impact of mining, you know, um, on the environment and the sustainability of, of mining. And uh, during my research, I found out that um, communities, you know, are usually impacted by mining, especially because of their livelihoods, you know, um, soil pollution, water pollution, and um, also um, the sources of energy that they use as well. So through that, I just I got to know that there's an interconnection and it involve, involves interdisciplinary kind of research, and also it also involves you um, thinking about how can you do remediation. So um, from that, you know, I worked on the water energy food nexus and also the impact of landfills because nowadays there's a lot of waste that we are generating. And um, the landfills are getting filled, and there's no land anymore to you know to to make for suitable landfill sites. So eventually, um, you find that landfill also affects the air quality, it affects our water quality, it affects our soil quality as well, which eventually affects uh, human health and the ecosystems as well. So those are what my research has, are based on, and. Um, uh, since then, my postgraduate student and I have been working on how we can do remediation of polluted lands, uh, polluted soils and water using cost-effective methods, and also how we can also uh, contribute to policies through the, uh, the result that we get from our research, so that government can start you know, enacting policies that can be implemented by municipalities and even the government at large to enable an environment you know, that will be sustainable for future generations. And not just that as well, people are talking about the issue of climate change. We find out that human, you know, anthropogenic activities of humans contribute a lot to what we call climate change today. So one of the things that we also do, you know, my student and I do is to see how we can use natural processes to mitigate you know, the impact of climate change and also how we can adapt you know, to uh, the ongoing global warming and uh, climate change. So basically, um, right now I have uh, seven PhD students you know, working on different research and 10 master students, and uh, I've graduated 24 master students and four PhD students on all these various uh, projects that I'm talking about. And we're still ongoing, and some of the research that I'm doing right now is we've applied for funding for WRC, that we're trying to see how we can use um, the natural, uh, some of the natural indigenous plants growing here in South Africa to remediate uh, what we call nitrogen and, and phosphate um, uh, pollution from agricultural runoffs. So that is one of the research that we're doing. We're also looking at circular economy, especially seeing how we can use waste from uh, from ESCOM, you know, after you produce energy, there's some waste that is generated. How can we use it in other industries? So those are some of the projects that we are working on. Thank you.